guys, my name is Daisy. I am the CEO and founder of Banish, and today I'm going to be talking about a video not relating to skincare, but it also relates to confidence. Um, and this is the struggle with my body. So my body, I would say, is something that is a very confusing and complicated story. I think all of us have different struggles in our life and my body kind of has the opposite story that my skin has. Um, my body has always been super amazing and great and I never had to work for it until I got older. And now that I'm older, it's something that I've had to constantly maintain and work and really accept how my body has changed. Because my body has not been the same for the past um, 15 years and it's definitely grown and changed and evolved. And I have had to learn how to love and almost deal with it. That's really what I want this video to be about is how you can learn to accept yourself the way you are instead of trying to be like somebody else. Backstory, when I was younger, um, I was always the really skinny girl. Um, I've grown up skinny my entire life. I've had friends who are very jealous of me because I literally ate so much food. I would eat like three plates of food. I would be known as the girl just that could eat anything and I'd be real thin, I'd be skinny. I remember people like telling me my arms were really skinny. I had really good proportions. Like my body was not anything I struggled with in my growing up years. It was something I definitely took for granted. I ate whatever I wanted. And I remember when I was like, 16 years old, I was in a shopping mall and I thought to myself, literally, I thought to myself like, I wish I didn't look so good because I would literally buy all these clothes and dresses and stuff that nobody else could wear and I would look good in it because I was skinny and I had meat in the right places. For the first, I would say like 20 years of my life, that was my story and I really took it for granted. And it's weird because when you are like the perfect body, no matter what you wear, it looks good on you and therefore you wanna buy everything and you wanna wear everything. And I mean, do I wish that could be the case now? I try to think positively and no because then I save money on not buying everything, but I had no issue with my body because it was what society admired, which was skinny, being able to eat whatever, Etc. Then when I hit my 20s, um, I started, I wouldn't want to say I started gaining weight, but I just noticed my body evolving and changing. It became a lot more muscular. And I'm purposely wearing, like I'm going to be heading to Soul Cycle later, but I'm purposely wearing um, something I would work out in. And you can see how my arms look, how my back looks. Like, you know, I don't have skinny arms anymore. It's very, very muscular, very defined and toned. My legs. And I know noticed that I started just developing more meat on my bones. I was no longer skinny. I also developed meat around my middle section and so all the clothes that I used to be able to wear when I was younger, I could no longer wear. I transformed from this very skinny model-esque kind of figure to this more masculine like body shape type. And it was weird because you think muscles are good and you think um, you know muscles and being fit are good, but I felt like I got to the point where my body started developing where it was just looking so, so muscular to the point it looked very masculine. It was a combination of me working out. I would say I am very athletic. Um, I love working out. It's one of the best parts of my day, but I also think p most of it was probably genetics. Um, you know, just the way my, my, my body is formed and shaped and how my muscles are defined. It's a lot more genetic than I think it is me working out. But those two combined together made me come with this body shape. And it was weird because for the first time in my life, I felt insecure about my body. And it's, and it's a weird thing to feel insecure about you feeling too muscular, especially coming from an Asian American female. I feel like most Asians are very skinny. They're very real thin. People think of Asians as like very straight up and down, no curves, whatever. And I felt very awkward because I felt like my body was not typically what an Asian girl body should be. It was um, more curvy, it was more muscular, it had more meat. I didn't know how I felt, you know, I felt very kind of uncomfortable with it because it was like, this is not what I thought I would be because when I was younger, I wasn't used to that. I remember going to like stores that I would used to shop at, like BB or other stores, um, that a lot of the shirts don't fit me because my arms and my shoulders are so 
like big like I mean look at this so I would be like a size 26 on the bottom and on the top so it would be like a size large and so I just felt so insecure about how unproportional my body was in comparison to what the sizing standard said and I felt almost like hey I'm not attractive I'm not beautiful anymore because my proportions aren't the way that um I see you know other places and then you know with the rise of Instagram and the rise of social media and all that you see these girls who are very very fit yeah they're very very fit but it was crazy to me that they were fit in all the right areas that they were fit in the booty and they were fit in the ass but yet they had huge boobs and like skinny toned arms like skinny arms that were still really toned but still skinny you know and I was like how is that possible because they're basically muscular everywhere they have a huge butt and a tiny cinched waist and I was like is this possible and then I realized you know many of these girls get liposuction they get Brazilian butt lifts they get all these things done to them and to me, it's just like, it's not fair comparing myself and my body to somebody who has gotten alterations. And I think getting alterations is, you know, do what makes you happy, but I think it's unfair to promote like, hey, I'm getting this body solely by working out because I don't know, it just kind of makes you feel like you're always trying to work towards this expectation of something that doesn't exist and that is physically impossible to look like. Um, and I remember at a certain time I was like, so I stopped doing arm workouts because I was like, I don't want to bulk up my arms. Like my arms are way too big. So I constantly focused on doing ab and core and you know, ab workouts and I can hold a plank for a minute, no problem. Because I was like, oh, I want to grow my waist. I want my waist to be snatched. I want it to be super skinny like those girls I see wearing Gymshark and everything. And then I just realized like, no, there is no physically possible way for me to have those proportions unless I go under the knife because if you're that muscular, um, you're gonna lose fat everywhere, not just, you know, your, your boobs aren't gonna be that big, right? Um, if you're that muscular, your your thighs are gonna be that big in proportion to your butt. Like there's, there's no possible way you can have a big muscular butt and like, skinny thighs you know like I realized like that's not possible and so I kind of just said you know what screw all of this um and I'm just going to learn how to love my body and the shape it is and the way it's evolving um and stop trying to make it something it's not because I think I went through this period where you know I was just doing ab workouts I was trying to do more cardio I was actually afraid of lifting weights because I thought it would make me bulk up too much it would make me too masculine yeah, I was just trying to be like more skinny again. And no matter how hard I tried, um, no matter how many calories I cut and how much cardio I did and how much I worked out, I still <laughs> look like this, you guys. That's just the way my body is and there's nothing I can really do to change it. And it's, and it's so weird because you never think like, I wanna be less muscular. Like nobody ever says that. Everyone's like, I wanna lose 10 pounds. I wanna lose the belly fat. I wanna tone up. But nobody ever says like, I wanna be less muscular and it's just weird how no matter what happens to our bodies we always find something wrong with it and you know and it's not perfect and we have to learn how to accept that we're never going to look like what society tells us you know I think you know people say oh you know you're too muscular or you're not muscular enough or you know your boobs are too big or not big enough or your butt is too big or not big enough I remember even growing up when I was younger, I thought that my butt was too big because, you know, being Asian American, I thought I was supposed to be super skinny and like, you know, just rail thin everywhere. And I remember I had a butt and my grandpa even said something about it. And I was like trying to wear clothes that like would hide the butt. And now butts are super in, you know, and it's just funny because everyone's getting like butt surgery wearing butt pads and like now the trend is having a butt and you know in the 90s it was all about boobs and having big boobs and boob jobs and now it's about butts and I don't know in the next 10 or 20 years what it's going to be but I really want to caution everybody that your body is not supposed to look like a trend. There's companies out there trying to sell you this image of looking like something that is completely unattainable um, to a normal human being. Your body is not supposed to look like a trendy fashion statement, right? And I think that's what I wanna tell all you young women watching out there, that 
your body is your body and it's there to look a certain way and you have to fully embrace it because if you're not gonna embrace it fully, then you're gonna be susceptible to changing it um, and changing it at the whim of whatever is trendy that year. So, you know, again, if you're not gonna love the way you look and your body and all that, for example, fake lips are gonna be in, they've been in for the past few years, but I'm sure in a few years, skinny lips will be in. So are you supposed to be changing your lips to like follow the trend, right? Like, is that really healthy? Um, I'm sure fake boobs will be in in the next 10 years. Are you really going to alter your body to fit in with certain trends? Is that what your body is known for? I think trends are great for fashion and style and beauty, but to go under the knife and enhance your body and go through surgery, that's a whole nother thing. So how have I learned to accept my body? Well, I have learned to accept my body because I have learned to accept that certain things are just not going to work for me and I'm not going to look good in certain things. For example, mom jeans don't look good on me. They will never look good on me. Um, certain, those Fashion Nova things, like they're, they're really cute, the mini two pieces. Um, they look really great on the Instagram girls. They don't look good on me. No matter what I try, it look like a big boxy, like it just doesn't look good on me. So I have learned to accept that not everything is gonna look good on me and I shouldn't wear everything that's trendy and that's okay. That doesn't make me less of a person. And so what I have been doing is I've, I have been embracing certain styles and clothing that looks really good on me that I feel confident and comfortable in. For example, I've, I've spoken so much about Lululemon, but Lululemon fits me so well. Um, Nike fits me really well because the way they cut their clothing is for a muscular, you know, fit body and so, it's it fits my arms well it fits my shoulders well um fits my thighs well like it fits well and so i'll wear like more athletic clothing i'll wear more athleisure clothing um but yeah i can't wear those like trendy instagram brand clothing items it just doesn't fit me and i'm not going to change my body in order to fit somebody else's trend right or somebody else's company and there was a moment you know a brief moment just you know sometimes we get like little negative thoughts in our head that said daisy maybe you should try to do a, you know a few certain things to like you know look more like you know those girls so you can wear those clothes and um, I did Google like, you know, procedures that you could do for that. And then I was just like, you know what? I don't want to go down this rabbit hole trying to fit into somebody else's image because that's not me. I have to learn and accept and embrace my body. And this year, you know, athletic clothes are going to fit me. Maybe my body is going to change in the next five, 10 years where athletic clothes aren't going to fit me. Maybe I'm going to have to wear mom clothes, right? Or maybe I'm going to be able to fit in those Instagram brands, but whatever my body is changing, I'm into as long as I'm healthy and supported, I am going to fully embrace and love my body first instead of loving the trends, right? Love your body, don't fall in love with the trends. Don't fall in love with the image of what you look like in certain clothing. You have to treat and love your body first and that comes first and foremost. And I think what's, what's sad is people are not loving their bodies the way they are. They're not loving what their bodies are evolving into. They're loving this idea of looking a certain way on a photograph or in a certain kind of clothing item. And, and that's just messed up in terms of priorities, right? So I want to tell all you guys out there that learn to love your body. Your body is you. It's uniquely yours. All the stuff that is in there, the rolls, you know, the the cellulite, the muscles, the the eczema, um, all that stuff is there for a reason. Um, that is who you are, and don't feel ever pressured to fit your body type into a trend. Because, girl, I will guarantee you, in the '90s, the '90s, the Kate Moss, like, um, what is it, like, Coke addict, chic, like, Coke addict. Um, skinny chic was like super in and now we have the Kim Kardashian big booty big curves um, is in right now and so it's just not fair to play with your body to fit into a certain trend you know who knows what will be trendy in the next 10 years I hope the whole muffin top thing becomes trendy because I'm ready for that <laughs> I'm ready for all that chocolate cake so let me know in the comments below how you love your body and your imperfections I want to hear something that you love about your body that might not be accepted or might not be super popular in mainstream media let me know what it is down below and thank you all so much for watching i'm gonna head now to my next workout class bye guys